Hello everyone, uh, so I'll do you a quick tour of Draco. Uh, it's an aluminium boat, 14 and a half meters long. Uh, it's aluminium, the whole hull is aluminium and uh, everything that you see, all the superstructure in white is in, um, in fiber glass. And so here you see the boat will be walking around it. It was built by a shipyard uh, in, no, in Brittany. Uh, they are specialized in mostly super yachts and they've done a fantastic job with this one. I'll be walking around fairly quickly but obviously you're welcome to pause the video at any moment and you can always send me questions as well. So let's go inside, um, get, let's go onto the boat and we'll first do a tour of the top of the boat. Here you'll see a big set of solar panels and I'll be walking to the cockpit area first. So we've got winches, quite a few winches, it's great for all maneuvers. Um, we've got the cockpit here, the cockpit is a table, this table we can decrease the size of it, there are one and two, means it gives great access to the cockpit here. Um, you'll see you've got, so you've got the two winches here, this here, this is a big box, there's big storage which goes basically from the bottom of this water, white wall there goes all the way here back to this wall here and then extends basically to here goes all the way into here and this is a big storage at the moment it's a mess and I'm sorry about that you see here there's a waterproof hatch here that gives you access there's another access as well from the inside it gives you access to or the rudder to the autopilot and to the heating which are all at the very back in what we call a crash box here at the back this back here you see there's a door that opens up this opens up like this and makes like a bathing platform and where you can also hang up the dinghy so the dinghy hangs up from these two hooks and then when you bring it down you can bring the dinghy down this has worked really well especially when you're just cruising leisurely around um, now for the rest of the cockpit, so uh, you've got the, um, here let's speak from here, so this is the winch for the main sheet. You've got a bunch of blockers here, which go to the front. The mainsail, all the reefs and hauling up the mainsail is done from the mast, foot of the mast. The, but the sheet is here obviously. This is the winch for all the sheets of the forward sails. And this is for the backstays, the running backstays. Um, now we keep turning around. You've got here a wind generator. It's, it's a super wind model. It works super well. At the moment, it's blowing, uh, blowing a bit, so it's blowing 30, 15, 30 knots. Uh, so sometimes you might see it turn, sometimes less, just because of the frame weight. Uh, on the other side here, you've got the Starlink. I've decided to put it there. You could also put it on the barrier if you want to, just need to buy a little adapter. I just decided to make it simple. Here you've got the outboard engine, which is a two-stroke, eight horsepower outboard engine. Um, and there's another mast here, which has a GPS receiver, uh, sorry, emergency GPS receiver, Navtex receiver, and uh, active radar. Uh, ampli uh, well, ra radar signal and amplifier. Another winch here for the other running rack say, or for the rollers of the forward uh, for sails. And this is another winch. Here you've got the hydraulic system for both the vang and the out hole of the mainsail. And you've got the accelerator here for the engine and instrumentation. So the ones I use, the only ones that are active, is these ones, these three here. This is the autopilot. And then here you've got two multifunction uh, screens which can be changed depending on what you want to have. Uh, all this here is to do with the engine. Uh, so we've got all the engine controls here. And then here we've got the rudder with a compass on top. This is the view that you have from the rudder. Um, so you've got a very good view forward. You can see the sails properly. You've got also another window up here we can see through. and you can always go on the side a little bit. This has been very comfortable and I must say I've appreciated it a lot. And having it on the side works, to be honest, really, really well. Um, then, so now what we'll do, ah, and one more thing, here you've got 
the life raft and there's uh, loudspeakers here the, in, on the side of the wall of the table uh, so everyone wants music inside um, so life raft is here and opens this hatch and the life raft comes out so now let's go to the front of the boat and we just walk ahead hopefully you'll hear me properly and there's not too much problems of wind here we've got the boom and we've got a boom brake and the boom um, uh, retainer. As we walk forwards, we've got the winch, bunch of boards and the uh, hook. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go to the very front. You'll see from the front, so you've got the anchor down there. This boat calls for an anchor of about 20 kilos. Uh, I've decided to massively oversize that, go over to a 35 kilo one. Just to make sure, the fact is I've never slipped even in the worst conditions. You've got the roller reefing here for the Genoa. That one was replaced three years ago. Not the Genoa, the, really, the roller reefing itself. Um, this one is for the stay sail. It goes up here and goes about to the seven eighths. As it goes up to seven eighths, that's why we have the two running back stays. So it's these red lines here, they go up to the back ones that go up to the top and the same thing on the other side down here. And that's the red one there. Um, if we keep on in the front here, we've got a big hatch here. So I'll just open this. At the moment there's a little bit of a mess inside. But this is quite a, a spacious uh, forward hatch. At the moment I've got a lot of lines, these extra tanks, tubings, fenders. Uh, the storm sails which go in there and you see here this wire here that is a support for the storm sail so there's a removable stay which comes in there and which hooks up to the top uh, which is already I mean it's easy to put in place and then you've got the storm sail at the bottom here you've got the windlass it's sort of a hatch that opens up like this uh, you saw the pictures so there's not much point that I open it up I never basically open it because the uh, windlass is on a uh, wireless remote so I can easily access it and from the hatch here I have access to the anchor chain lockers if I want to check if the chain is falling inside properly. Um, this is the dinghy, the dinghy is aluminium hull with hyperlon uh, fenders, uh, uh, inflatable boys or whatever you would call them. Uh, it has worked super well, it means it's also super resistant. Um, you can go up on walks or whatever, it doesn't bother. Let's go now over to the main sail, uh, to the mast uh, foot. So here we go, we've got one winch, which is a standard winch. And we've got, as I said before, we've got all the three reefs. So one, two and three of the mainsail. And there's a fourth reef which is installed, which is not, the ropes are not in line, uh, place. But the wings are there, so if needed, we can always put a fourth sail, uh, reef, but I've never needed it. Uh, we've got also the spinnaker halyard, which I've used mostly for dinghy or for hauling people up to the top of the mast. And here you've got the removable uh, stay, which is here, which is always ready to go. Uh, it is, or any lines on this side can be go around this winch and over to the other side and to this winch. This winch is the electric winch, which I have used a lot for uh, hauling up the mainsail. So there's two speeds. Both going up, there's a slow speed, which I don't know if you can see, and then there's a fast speed. Um, so we have everything here at the foot of the mast. It works very well, it's we're very, quite well protected. It does help that there's this dimension here, which I don't know if you can see properly. Uh, meaning I can put my knees around it or I can, uh, and uh, do all the maneuvers from here. This is very practical. This boom is a canoe boom, as one calls it. So it has sort of like a U shape inside. At the moment, which means that the sail is nicely put away. It does not fall too much on the deck. And you can see at the moment, it doesn't look like it, but it actually is full, has the full main sail that's inside. It's just nicely tucked away. Um, and I've also installed lazy jacks onto it just to make it even more, even easier. Um, and that's about it. We've got the spinnaker pole here. The spinnaker pole, I do not have a spinnaker on board, but I've used it quite a lot to pole out the uh, Genoa and all the stay sail, um, giving, uh, making, allowing you to go properly downwind. 
all this standing rigging, so all these cables here have been replaced three years ago. Um, so they're all pretty much new. And you'll see there's the radar, there's a light for the deck. Uh, the radar has also been changed about two and a half years ago and instruments on the top also have been changed. Uh, so there's been quite a few new things on this boat. Um, so we go back again. We've got the windows here, the solar panels, which work, have worked very well. And this sort of cover here, which gives you a nice protection inside. I also have extras that go on the top here, on the sides, on both sides and on the back. But which are more for sun or rain protection. Uh, it's not fully closed. It's, it lets quite a bit of air in and out. Um, so I think we've covered the door. There's just more. There's still the door here. So the door. This is a um, door which can be. These white panels can be removed, which makes it into a more like summer mode boat. I found that this worked really well meaning that the boat is probably inside even from the door but it can still breathe um, here we've got if the cockpit does fill up which has happened to me it empties within seconds because you've got two massive holes here and you've got holes over there and on the other side here uh, so i think that's about it for outside so we'll start heading inside and i'll show you the next part of the boat next part of the boat on the next video